Hello, everybody. This is Shadow and Islands yet again. Uh, but this time, this is after the Lulu patch, actually. So that's why I'm actually uh, bringing you another one because I wanted you guys to see the buffs that came in, that came through with Jax. Uh, no longer with E, first off, uh, do you have to be like within breathing distance to actually stun somebody with it. Uh, let alone like three or four people. But now you can just, now all you have to do for the most part is uh, stay within the area of effect range that it actually shows and actually stun people. Which, I, I think it was more of a bug fix or a tweak than a, really a buff, but I, I like that they did that at least. But the other buff was something pretty major in my opinion. They changed his ultimate from giving him additional attack damage and uh, ability power uh, to giving him extra armor and magic resist whenever he pops it, uh, scaling on attack damage and ability power respectively. Let me explain uh, when the actual uh, the actual game shows up. See, look at this. Uh, he gets an armor bonus equal to 25 plus 30 percent of his bonus attack damage, and magic resist bonus equal to 25 plus 20 percent of his ability ability power. So, right now. What it would be is 26 armor and 25 magic resist. That doesn't sound like much, but it will only scale up the more the game goes on. And uh, the way I play Jax is I build him kind of balanced between defense and lots of uh, hybrid items. So usually I like to get, like, uh, what I do first is I get a cloth armor and five potions, because if you're doing anything else, uh, well, I only got four because I accidentally bought something else, but... Um, if you're getting anything else, uh, you shouldn't be playing as Jax at top lane. Uh, you should be playing with like Kennen or Vlad or something because if you're facing a mage at top lane, it's kind of a bad idea to. Let me fast forward this. This is just kind of standard leashing thing. If you're playing against a an AP top, then you're kind of doing it wrong if you're playing as Jax. So that's just what I have to do. What I have to say about that. Um, Right here, I mean, not much happens. We just kind of last hit, so I'm just going to fast forward through this and talk through it. Uh, but yeah, I really like this change. It's really nice. It makes him uh, just as offensive. I mean, his damage wasn't the problem, so they didn't need to give him that old ultimate, which is why a lot of people were complaining. Uh, they didn't ha have to give him all that like damage, really. Uh, all they needed to do was make him tanky, and they really did that with his ultimate, so I'm glad that they did that. So, right here, I'm, you can see that I'm winning the trade-offs because uh, I got Cloth Armor first and there's not much Pantheon can do if someone gets Cloth Armor first. Um, yeah, uh, Morgana, if you catch caught in the all chat, was saying that you can't really compete with that. Uh, and right here, we go ahead and take Amumu out because he got caught. Morgana takes the kill. Right here, we just kind of walk out of Pantheon's range. He doesn't really do much damage to any of us, really, at this point. It's kind of sad. I, I really wish, I really wish uh, Pantheon was buffed, because uh, right where he is right now, he's just not that great. So he's really fun to use whenever I use him. He's like Talon, except he uh, he's anti AD carry and AP carry. So. Talon, for the most part, is just mainly anti-caster, so putting him uh, against a, an AD carry isn't usually the best idea, which is why uh, Pantheon bottom lane is actually more popular than Talon bottom lane. I might do a Talon commentary sooner or later, uh, I don't know. Uh, so uh, look how much damage I did, to, because once you hit 6 with uh, Jax, there's really nothing you can the enemy can do against you. Uh, I was gonna put a ward down, I think, in the tri bush pretty soon, but I didn't do that yet. Uh, this next uh, portion, I can dive pretty easy, and I know that. You only really want to dive an opponent if you know you can kill them really easily. It's good that Pantheon was poking at me since he kind of knew that I might dive him, but uh, at this point, he doesn't do much damage, so I don't know why he was doing all this. And uh, the block thing just kind of... And he made me take more damage than I wanted to, so that was good of him. But in the end, there was really... He did all he could. There was really nothing he could do. Uh, what he could have done is just kind of stayed back and last hit, but I don't think he expected the amount of damage that I could do. You see that I max Leap Strike first, because that does actually the most damage. 
Uh, if you saw my past Jax video, really nothing else changed other than this, other than his ultimate. Not much else changed. So, uh, you'll see here I got my... Uh, oh, hang on, it's fr froze for a second there. That was weird. Uh, you got a, I got a Madrid's Razor for extra armor and extra uh, attack damage. Uh, that'll just make my trade-offs even that much better. I mean, his, my Leap Strike doesn't do as much damage as it usually does, but as it would have uh, before the remake. They changed a lot more than they should have in the remake, in my opinion. I know I was kind of um, kissing up in my last video, and that was just because I kind of knew that Jax still had potential. It was just that he kind of wasn't seeing that much play because he couldn't team fight very effectively, and I'm pretty sure everyone agreed on that part. I just... Pantheon is mainly just a counterpick to auto attackers to a degree, I would think. Like, to, uh, to, uh, 80, to melee 80 carries like, me, like Yi or Trindamir or Fiora or something. At least that's how, I, that's how I see it, at least. Kind of like Jax, actually. Uh, yeah, see, Caitlyn is just, I don't know, Caitlyn kind of is an underrated mid. I've... I've decided that. I mean, she is good at mid still. It's just that the meta doesn't demand that. Right there, I flash. I don't flash because Pantheon didn't kill me. I flash because Amumu was doing lots of damage. Uh, his percentage a damage and his magic shred and the stun would have probably ensured that I died if I didn't flash like that. So I go ahead and do that. Um, plus, you know, one of the cool things about Jax is that even if your flash is down... Uh, it doesn't matter because you can leap strike to minions and it'd be fine. Um, right here, Malphite's gonna take over my top lane, and uh, he's also he was also guarding me in case I, somebody like wanted to dive me or something. So, and I was just I'm coming back to lane. It's a re little replay bug, whatever. So, um, and he can't exchange with me now. I mean, it's well past that section. He could have exchanged with me when I was like level 2 or something, but now he can't. He missed his chance. And I guess, I guess his the lifesteal kind of helps him with Riggles, but I don't, and then again, I don't see why you'd get Riggles against Jax. I mean, there's not a whole lot that Riggles is going to do for you, because I do primarily magic damage and a attack damage. That's one of the problems with uh, hybrid characters, is they're kind of tricky to mitigate against. I mean, unless you have, like, a Guardian Angel or a lot of tank items. So... I used to have a huge problem with uh, mitigating against uh, against hybrid characters, and I had a big problem with balancing issues with them. But at this point, I don't really find too much of a problem with them, as long as everybody uh, can focus on attacking them uh, before before really anything else. Oh yeah, and then Pantheon jumps. I'm not sure why. Um, that was just kind of a silly move on his part. I'm uh, even with just two kills. I mean, I'm still pretty ahead. I mean. I've got, let me see how much CS I have. I have 68 as opposed to his 66. I'm not ahead of him in CS, but I'm still ahead of him in gold, so that's certainly going to help. Um, I'll go ahead and just ward here and just like pushing and stuff. Let's just fast forward through this. It's not really that important. He just kind of tries to poke at me. Doesn't have much damage. Uh, right here, I mean, look, I was at like not even full health. He was at full health, and I just, you know, took him down to like one fourth, so there wasn't much he could do. And she's on a killing spree, so it's, like it's kind of worrisome, but not horribly worrisome. Um, I was kind of worried as to where Amumu was, even though I had wards. It's like, last time, even though I had a ward, he still, I still like didn't pay attention, so I was on my guard a bit more. That's kind of my problem still. I kind of, sometimes I feel like, and then right here, I'm just... I just I dive him again because I don't I don't care I just like uh, my ultimate actually the ultimate actually protects against uh, turret shots really well because uh, turrets don't do true damage so you can defend against them with just defense so that's cool uh, right here again I'm just uh, it's freezing again I don't know why I keep doing this but uh, she got she's on a rampage so got a double kill it's kind of annoying but. And we kill her, like she didn't expect me to teleport to the shroom. That's what that's one of the cool one of my cooler plays was that I tellied to the shroom, Malphite came down, we just completely rocked her world, and she didn't expect that at all. So 
right here, Mubu just kind of tries to keep me in position. He does a good job, so. I go ahead and get my Goinsus and a few more potions, even though I don't really need them. Uh, Malphite, I mean, they all get dominated. I just say, Malphite, don't hit, don't like stay at bottom turret, because there's really no point. Um, you guys may think I'm just like rushing through this. That's just because, like, I figure with, uh, with longer videos, it's just like, it, it kind of takes away from the attention span of a lot of viewers, so I've been told. So I'm trying to lower the the length of my videos and kind of speed through the parts that aren't too important. Right here, that this is a part that's kind of cool. Unfortunately, Caitlyn gets away, but I am so tanky that, like, nothing does, like, any damage. I, uh, I think my ult's almost gone, so I might, I might want to get out pretty soon. Yeah, see, look, I, I flashed out because not only is my ult down, uh, my ult was down and uh, Amumu would have landed that bandage toss and I would have been ulted by Cassiopeia and that would have ensured my death. So I go ahead and just flash out of there because whatever you got to do, you, you know, it's just something you got to do. And then Malphite just crushes that Caitlyn. I finish her off. Unfortunately, you guys may see it as a KS, but I, don't, I think she might have, like, uh, netted or something if uh, I hadn't jumped at her or something like that. So. Besides, I mean, extra kill for you know, snowballing jacks, what's the harm, right? Um, we go ahead, and I think we push this, and yeah, unfortunately Malphite ignores uh, Pantheon. So he gets kind of rocked, so... Uh, look, like, when you don't damage Teemo as Pantheon, there's something wrong. Because, like, he doesn't even have... He only has uh, Riggles as a damage item, and Teemo, like, has 65 defense. If you're not doing any damage to Teemo with that much defense, there's really something wrong with your farming amount. And right here, let's see the gold, let's see the farming tools again. Yeah, now I'm starting to just ridiculously destroy him, and that's because I'm like pushing, and I keep killing him and zoning him from creeps. So, really, all he can do at this point is try his hardest to farm and keep up with my damage, and uh, get tankier. He does a good job getting tanky, though. That's a good thing. You really want to get tanky like as quickly as possible if you're behind right there. Cassie just kind of gets caught, so I don't really need to commentate on it. She just gets caught and then destroyed by her entire team. I don't know why Cassiopeia gets like caught a lot of this game. It's just it's kind of a silly thing. Um, I go ahead and level my Grandmaster's might again. Now my ult gives me would have given me a base of 45. And uh, gives me 63 and 69 magic resist per. So it's like, wow, so much, so much tankiness. Even with just damage items. Again, I like to. The only reason I like to balance damage items with defensive items is that if your ult's down and you have no way of defending yourself, then uh, that's gonna end badly for any, for everybody. Right here, everyone was down there, so I felt the need that I, I felt the. Uh, the urge to push because uh, if everybody's down there, if because I saw Pantheon jump down there, if everybody is pushing like down at bottom and then they don't get a tower and then you get like two, that's a lot better of a trade off. Even if they get like three kills, which I'm pretty sure they did, even if they get three kills down there, you give everybody 150 gold. That's still more of a gold advantage that they didn't get. So that's just my reasoning there. Uh, I go ahead and. Uh, go back top to farm more and Amumu tries his luck at fighting me and he realizes wait even if Jax isn't uh, isn't uh, the Jax he used to be he still does a lot of damage so I go ahead and just crush that Amumu he gets me low though that's to be fair I mean he did get me pretty low again it's fr froze again I don't know why it keeps doing this but I'll just take it how it is um yeah, Caitlyn, unfortunately, just gets really farmed and fed to this game. Again, though, I think... I don't know if I said it now, or if I said it later, or earlier. Um, even if Caitlyn gets fed, or a collie gets fed, it's not going to matter. I'm getting snowballed out of control at this point. I can defend against these guys and just completely rock their world. Especially Caitlyn. Caitlyn, even if she's fed, can't do anything against Jax. Because he'll just dodge all her stuff. He'll build lots of defense and then just completely annihilate her with his ultimate and his stun and damage. So. 
Yeah, I said, you guys need to work on coordinated team fights if I have to backdoor because I'm just like, yeah, I mean, I can't, if I, if you guys can't handle yourself, like, here's how I reason. If you, people can't handle themselves, then they're just, then the enemy team's going to snowball harder than I can, and I can't carry the game at that point. Well, I, not that I was really carrying. Everybody on our team was really good. It was just that a few people just kind of made some ballsy calls, and they didn't really work out for the best. Um, sometimes that happens to me. I mean, nobody's... I mean, unless you're, like, trolling hard or uh, you're playing, like, a really not, not top-notch character, there's just... You're, there's no such thing, really, as a bad player, in my opinion. You just make bad calls, and they just... And then people call you a bad player because you didn't make that those stellar of a call. So. I go ahead and take the red because I'm awesome. And then I go ahead and 2v... 2v1 uh, Akali and Caitlyn because I can. And uh, I was about to die to uh, Amumu, but then my AoE reduction and my stun and the bind and Lulu's shield just saved my life. And they are amazing and I love them all and I want to have their babies. Uh, but other than that, I mean, see, it's that kind of thing. They're not bad players. Nobody on this team is bad. Uh, it's just that some people kind of make some weird, bad-ish calls that I wouldn't make, but uh, they seem to... I mean, other than that, they seem to know what they're doing. I mean, they kill that turret. I don't remember what happens here. I don't know why. If there's if there was only Pantheon there, why didn't all of them just turn on him and kill him, is my question. Maybe he flashed. Maybe that's why. Um, see, like, and then I'm just... Again, I'm just pushing again. Uh, they're telling me to go mid, but they can handle it, and I'm like, I'm just gonna keep pushing, and then I find a tasty Caitlyn. I don't know if that's worth commentating on again. Like, she just melts to me. I'm, I kill her in, like, seconds, and she can't do anything back to me because I dodge all her stuff. If she keeps firing on me while I'm dodging, then there's just nothing she can do. And I, I just damage her even more, because the more I dodge, the more attacks I dodge, the more damage I do back to somebody. Plus, I'm level 18. I have a level advantage over her, I'm pretty sure. So, that would, we have that going for me. And I could have fought a Kali, but I just decided, no, nah, I'm not gonna, because there's a tower there. And I don't want the tower to kill me. And then a Kali to get the kill. And then I push this more, because they're all going back bottom, or mid, actually. So I thought that they were all gonna go back mid. But I, apparently, they all want to go top. So I'm just like, okay, well... You guys want to push my turret? Well, screw you too. So I jump at Caitlyn because I know. Well, I don't jump at her yet. Like, look how much damage I do to the tank. Like, even like her, her um, her what's it called? Uh, and then that ult, just that Lulu ult, is so so nice. I love that ult so much. It's just the best thing ever. And then reduced AOE damage for the win yet again, and we catch. Uh, Cassiopeia out of position, and she just tickles everybody, really. And uh, we get we get the Sakali. There's nothing she can do. Uh, she ah, geez, she just falls again. I don't know why it keeps freezing, but we get her, and I'll fight. She takes the kill. I'm not really that worried because I'm already snowballing, so I'm not really that worried about kills at this point. We uh, all push this because I have Trinity Force, and I have a. Uh, Gwensu's Rage Blade. Even after they got rid of the uh, attack damage uh, increase, it's still like it's still a really good item. And Pantheon, poor, poor guy. I mean, he just keeps getting dominated. I mean, he can kill Teemo, Lulu, and like Morgana and stuff, but he can't kill Malphite and me because there's just nothing that can that they can do against us. They get heal baited again. I mean, I don't know why. They did it twice in a row, though. That was weird. Um, I jump right into the fight again, because I'm not really that worried. I just go ahead and rock their face, and I kill Cassiopeia yet again. Because Cassiopeia likes to die for some reason in this game. So I go back. I mean, I tell everyone to be, because we're all weak and stuff, and I don't want us to get into a sloppy engagement, because we're already ahead. Um... So, I have so much sustain right now. I have an, an attack speed and damage for that matter, and tankiness. I have a lot of everything right now. That's what happens when Jack snowballs. 
Because usually when you snowball, you get a lot of damage items, and you can just, like, damage out of control with a lot of people. But with Jax, it's just a deadly combination of everything. There's just there's nothing you can do against him if he snowballs. Because he'll just keep stacking damage and defenses, and he's just unstoppable. Uh, so I go, we go ahead and kill Amumu because he gets caught. I wanted to kill Cassiopeia, but then I didn't know where uh, everyone else was. I could have killed her with all uh, all things considered, but my team was also not there. I don't want to do a 1v3, really, uh, because then that'll just end badly for our team, because then they won't have me. So I go ahead and like spell vamp and lifesteal off of this. And that's really sexy. I'm really tanky with uh, Malphite nearby. I'm pretty sure it's Malphite, right? No, that's... Oh, no, that's Lulu. Lulu has Aegis of the Legion. And uh, Will of the Ancients is another one of those items that's just really, really, really nice on Jet when someone else gets it for Jax. Because then it just gives you that extra spell band, and it just synergizes oh so, so well with the power and Grandmaster's might. Just look how much I'm sustaining now. I just... There's just nothing can kill me now. As long as my team's nearby, I just melt things and I kill things so fast. Yeah, Lulu, in my opinion, just, that's, she uses her ult really, really well in this game. And I just, I melt that Akali, that's why I'm not afraid of her, because her burst is not as good as mine is, so. <laughs> and they say good job with teamfights, but it's more like, good job with uh, Jax pushing top lane, and then him coming down after he snowballed up the ass, because people kept getting caught against him. And then have him dominate, like, 1v2s. And she polymorphs because it's a ridiculous spell. And uh, then we go ahead and kill her in the Nexus turret. And the Nexus turret doesn't even kill me. And I'm like, guys, no, don't finish the fight. I want to go get my gun blade. So I be, even though everyone else is finishing the fight. Because I want to keep my legendary score. Because I'm a, a selfish bastard. And uh, we go ahead and win this. Because we're awesome. And we had a Morgana. And... Uh, Malphite was just so intense. Everybody on our team was so good, and that is the end of our game. That is GG. That is Jax after the Lulu patch, and I am just in love with him right now. I hope they never change him from where he is, unless they make like five new champs that are that just completely outclass him. So uh, that's the end of this video, and I hope to have you guys comment, favorite, or subscribe, or all three. I mean, that'd be nice too. So. Uh, I'll s talk to you guys later. See ya.